Hi Leo, welcome to your monthly forecast. Now this is for the month of May. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Leo, you are walking away from something, something that you need to work out, something that you need to work on. And there's also hmm, like a job offer that you will be are possibly missing out. Someone is actually lying in your company or in your workplace and people are playing like you know, like ping pong or, um, yeah, it's like they're playing ping pong and they're passing you from one person to another. They're intentionally playing around with you. All right. You will also be acting uh, cold and distant and very cut off and dry to someone around you. Singles, looks like you're going to have a drunken one-night stand with somebody. Well, especially if you can still go out. And it seems like you are... Or you've already done this. And it seems like this person kind of... Like a little bit obsessed with you. So they've already assumed that the two of you are together. So, let's take a look further. If I'm not mistaken, um, next month, Saturn will be leaving the, you know, the, the sign of Capricorn and will be moving towards Sagittarius. So if you have moon in Sagittarius, expect that you will be feeling a little bit down, depressed, confused, and blocked. Okay. Anyway, so let's pull out more clarifications. You are trying... Ooh, that actually flipped out, so let's just put it here. Changes are coming your way, but it seems like you're trying to escape some things that you need to work out or that you need to work on. Communications needs to be enhanced and needs to be, you know, like um, you need to make a lot of progress there. And you're starting to weather the storm alone. Some of you are carrying your problems on your own. Some of you are just keeping it on your own. Or some of you are just bottling up your feelings and you don't want to share it with your partner. Now, instead of your partner asking, like, what's wrong? You know, why are you, like, being like this? They are just going to regard you as, like, okay, you don't want to talk? Fine. And that's not what you're expecting from them. So, this is the reason why you feel so alone feel so lonely both of you will be acting like cold and distant cut off and dry and it seems like you're expecting your partner to at least woo you and to you know like um instead of your friends asking you about what's really going on with you you're expecting your partner to be a little bit bothered and concerned what are the things that's been bothering you you know that this person is really the right one for you and the only one for you, especially if this person has, well, sorry, uh, if this person is a water sign or an earth sign, or if they have Pisces in their chart, okay? So at this point, you're trying to retreat, walk away, trying to enjoy the moment. You just want to savor whatever it is that you have and you don't want to indulge more in you know in, in any dramas and you just want to gain some more higher spiritual guidance okay 
you're blocking off any negative energies, any dramas, any whatsoever or fights or arguments at this point. But I feel like there's really something that you really need to talk. Blocking off the energy, pretending that nothing is happening or pretending that nothing is wrong. It's not really going to help you in anything at all. You need to talk. There's also somebody who is a water sign that will be reaching out to you and that will also be giving you either a contract or um, it's like there's a news. Also, when it comes to your job, there is a contract that you're expecting to come. So, you know, it's like it's already confirmed that you're about to sign a contract and then someone will try to pull you away from it or will try to say, oh, that's like a big mistake. You know, there's no there's no slot. And there's no, like, um, you know, there's no other space or vacancy or something like that in my department or something like that. But this person is actually lying. Okay? This is a water sign or an air sign that you will be dealing with. So be very careful. I feel like you will be reaching up the uh, end of your rope. And you will try to just walk away, even though it's a like a very good opportunity. But the thing here is there is somebody who will be calling you and who will be pulling you like, no, what are you doing or what are you talking about? You know, like, why are you like making this such decision right after us, you know, awarding you the contract and then you're just going to walk away because you're getting so sick and tired with their games and you know whatever it is that they're, they're trying to play at with you because they're just you know like oh go here call this or contact this and then you know it's like it's a never-ending contacts okay so like it's like a never-ending um game that they're just bouncing off each other so anyway there is somebody who will be contacting you and will be making the final decision and you are the one who will be signing the contract with that person who is higher in all of those people that's been like playing around with you right and at the same time i feel like your problems with your relationship will also get sorted out now like what i said there's someone is already lying and this is the reason why you've been having a lot of hard times. And this is also the reason why you've been having a lot of delays and difficulties. Now, there is also a lump sum of money that you will be getting and that you will be coming your way. And I feel like, ooh, this is a big amount because you will be celebrating. And at the same time, it's like you are also preparing for like something big. Okay, that is regarding your work. Now, that this disappointments, this string and series of disappointments will finally be coming to an end and you will be dealing with one last betrayal, okay, from your workplace and then that's it. And I feel like with the help of this air sign, you will be getting more victory and more accomplishments. Just make sure that you will, you know, you will not let this person down with their trust. So even though there will be a lot of people who will try to play around with you you will have somebody who is higher and stronger that will have your back good now love life you will be acting cold and distant cut off and dry but you will find the strength to change a few things and you will be triumphant or you will be succeeding now the thing here is so you're going to go back to normal, you will go back to how you used to be, but then there is something that you still want to move on from and there is still something that you want to just leave behind and walk away. And it will be stressing you out because it seems like there is a connection with your partner that is not yet ending or that you thought will be ending or it has already ended, but it's still continuous, okay? So there will be some fights and there will be some big arguments that's going to be coming your way that will also be causing separation so you need to work on your communication skills and the way you'll be confronting your problems and your decisions and right after that you know the two of you will get back together and will be planning about getting married 
or moving to a new place if you're if you're domesticated and you're not yet married okay but if you're already married it seems like you will be moving to a new place new house or you will be relocating and there you will have like a brand new beginning there without anyone who knows you and without that person who's trying to get in between your relationship all right uh, singles looks like you bumped into somebody who's a little bit obsessed and you want to walk away from this person because you will be meeting someone new online this month and it seems like you feel like okay this is the, the right one for me but unfortunately you will just keep on repeating the same story over and over again and this is the reason why you will keep on thinking about somebody from the past that even though this person have some tempers and violent tendencies you will try to contact this person again because none of the people that you'll be dating this month is passable and this person is older than you so anyway immune system um, take care of your eyesight you'll be so sensitive to light especially during the daytime or high noon and you also need to move a little bit, you know, like do some exercise, aerobics. And you're already on the path to healing. But I feel like there will be some things that will be going back and forth, back and forth. Breathing problems, asthma, pneumonia, um, losing hair, dryness of your skin, um, severe distress. Uh, be careful in mingling with other people and get more sun okay to increase your resistance plus boost your immune system okay there's also a lifestyle or like a food eating habits that you need to move away from and don't stay too late at night it will strain out your eyes take a moment stop now is not the time to rush into the decision that you're about to make before this important decision is made take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward love love is the foundation of your existence and you're just as worthy of receiving as you're giving love and compassion while love can be a beautiful emotion it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life okay memories your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit more and more memories are arising within you remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world for neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another hmm. ground yourself being distracted and focused tired irritated and impatient well this is really you this month um, are all signs that you're ungrounded now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect with a divine source anyway that's it for you for this monthly year. and if you want to talk to me live on the phone and live the calls just go and visit me at my website at sophia.net blessings to you